While jobs and careers give us something to do and the financial support we need, there's more to life than working. Humans rely on the love and support of others, and without these things, life would be pretty bleak. Just ask anyone who's fed up with dating guys who keep breaking their heart, or someone who's still dreaming about meeting the girl they're going to spend the rest of their life with. Whether they're in their early 20s feeling jaded, or in their 40s and divorced, it is perfectly normal and okay to feel frustrated. Despite everything, there are reasons to have the courage to let love in. Here are five reasons why you might have a hard time finding love. 1. You're looking in all the wrong places. It's been said that bars and parties aren't the best places to find the love of your life, but life is rarely as black and white as that. Maybe someone's looking too hard, eager to make a move on the first person to give them attention. They may be so excited to scope out the crowd that they forget about those who are, are already in their lives. They may even be shutting down opportunities for themselves because they aren't open to meeting someone at a bar, party, or another unexpected place. 2. You don't give people enough chances. When someone begins to turn down every opportunity because of one awkward experience, it's time to ask what's really going on. Is everyone you've met really that bad, or are you just making excuses? Sometimes, we hold ourselves back more than we like to admit due to fears and high expectations. If someone goes on one date, it doesn't mean that they're committed forever and settling for anyone less than their true love. It's all about recognizing how many opportunities you've taken away from yourself. If finding love is a priority, you must keep an open mind and an open heart. 3. You haven't practiced self-love yet. Someone can be the kindest person and still end up dating jerks who break their heart. A little self-love can help anyone realize what kind of care they need and deserve in their relationships. Those who don't practice self-love often rely solely on their partner for it, which can easily lead toward an unhealthy, codependent relationship. 4. You're playing the comparison game. Is your ex still on your mind? Those who compare their new dates with their exes are often harder to reach and unable to fully connect with someone new. They may project their ex's characteristics onto their new partner and will likely not be able to get to know them for who they truly are. If the ex is still in the picture or in the thoughts, it's not time to start dating yet. 5. It's not your time yet. If you've mastered self-love and have a good head on your shoulders, then maybe it's just not your time yet. It doesn't mean that it'll never happen. It just means that now isn't the best time. Until then, prioritize yourself and let the right opportunities find their way to you. Are you experiencing dating difficulties? What other relationship topics would you like us to explore? Share your thoughts with us below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people to spread awareness on relationship and mental health issues. Thanks for watching!